myself wait all week long to do this. I wanted to do it right away after I did the last one, but I said, no, 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 don't rush. I said, don't rush, because you don't want to waste all your memories go one at a time and really enjoy them. So I thought and thought and thought this week, what would I tell my video diary? And I decided that I would tell you about my experience in the laundry room. I go behind the dryer sometimes because, well, there's lots of spiders in behind the dryer. There's probably lots of spiders in behind your dryer, too. And I like spiders because they are amazing creatures. They can climb walls, and they can make webs, and they can kill things way bigger than themselves. I like them a lot. In fact, I... I like them so much, that's why I go behind the dryer. Because there's lots of them, and I like to sit really close to them. And I'll sit, and I'll put my face really close, and my breath will make their webs go in and out against my face. And at first the spiders will run away, but if you stay there long enough, they will come back. And then they just are against your cheek just a little bit. And it's a little bit like, it feels like... Like butterfly kisses. Like when your mom gives you butterfly kisses. But I like the spiders on my face better than my mommy giving me butterfly kisses. But anyways, I was back there and my sister had come home from college. Sarah. Sarah is my big sister. And she's really ugly. You should hope that you never see her. Because she's ugly. And I don't like her to come to the house because, well, my mom buys her her favorite cereal. And I'll get my favorite cereal. And Larissa, you always get your cereal. And Sarah's home. And don't you want Sarah to have the cereal she wants to have? No. I don't. But I can't say that because that's not appropriate. Sarah's got me all distracted. It's behind the dryer. That's right. Behind the dryer, living with my spiders. And I like to eat the spiders sometimes, too. Because I think that you get more of their powers that way. So if you see a spider that does something that you think is really amazing and you would like that power, then you should you should eat that spider. Because not all of them, because you want some of those spiders to be around. But just just one. So you can have their powers. So that's what I was doing. I was behind the dryer eating spiders and just being with them. And, and my big sister came down the stairs with her laundry. And she came in the room and she was having to reach out to find the light switch. That doesn't explain it very well. See, I was in the dark. I, I don't turn the light on because the spiders don't like it. So I, I go... Oh, stupid mosquito. Don't ever eat mosquitoes. They're nasty. I have a long chain switch. And it was off. Because the spiders don't like it. And Sarah came in the room with her laundry on her hip. And she was reaching out to find the light switch. Now, at first, I thought she would be able to see me. So I put on my hello, other people smile, which is kind of like this. But then soon, I realized she couldn't see me. 
And so I was just playing Larissa. And Larissa thought <laughs> I would help my sister. I would move the light switch for her. So I took it and I pulled it back. And I stood behind the dryer looking right at her. She couldn't see me. Poor Sarah. She tried and tried to find that light switch, and I could see it was making her nervous and scared because her eyes were really, really big. <laughs> but she didn't know she was going to get even more scared because <laughs> I, I let go of the light switch and hit her right in the face. <laughs> oh, Sierra. She ran upstairs. If she had been eating spiders like me, she wouldn't have gotten that scared. Nope. <laughs> she went running upstairs and told Mom, oh, Mom, the light switch. I could hear Mom telling her, Sarah, don't be ridiculous. You just hit it with your hand and it banged into you. <laughs> So I just went back to what I was doing, eating my spiders. And Sarah came back downstairs in about about 15 minutes, she came back downstairs. So she's a little bit like a spider. All I had to do was sit there and she would come back. <laughs> she came back. And so I carefully stood up again. And she was so scared. Her hand was shaking as she was trying to find the light switch. And I held it out of the way again. I just looked at her. I reached in my pocket and I got my pencil from school and as she was reaching way forward to find the light switch, I held the switch back and I reached way forward and I flicked her right in the lip with my pencil. I might have flicked a little harder than I should have because she did start to bleed. Can you go? She started to scream. <laughs> I'm running upstairs. <laughs> so, but there is a good ending. <laughs> Yet Sarah doesn't do her laundry at home anymore. <laughs> and Lewis lived happily ever after. <laughs> End of story. So, that's my story for this week. And, um,. If you ever find a spider that does something really amazing, you should you should be really close to it or or eat it. What? No. You want to? I don't want to go in their house. Well, that's wrong. You don't go in other people's houses. I should go in their houses and hide behind their dryers. dryers.